We're building the fence right here, 150 feet. It's gotta be budget friendly. I want it to last, I don't know, 40 years. I know that's possible. All right, good luck, buddy. If you use the right material. And I want it to be nice. My wife doesn't think I can do it nice because most of the work I do is kind of like quick and dirty. It's, it's one of like the downsides of having a dad who's master craftsman. Everybody in the family basically expects like perfection because that's what they've all seen in terms of building. Uh, so I'm gonna do the best I can. All right, I left this one a ways out of the ground because I've got to bring some dirt in here. I think the dirt will probably come up another inch or two. So I let this concrete stay up high and the whole post is a few inches higher than it should be. You can just see on the neighbor's side, the, the grade is like actually up more like here. So we will see. Let me check my bubbles here. It took a little fussing, but I got this top rail in and I've got it straight. And it's probably hard to see in the video here. The string sags quite a bit. It's no matter how tight I'd pull it, it was, you know, sagging down. So I had to kind of compensate for that, but it's looking really nice. And my next move is to get the other rails on kind of like this here. There's going to be one in the middle and one at the bottom, all equally spaced. That's our next uh, step. Let's get to it. So far so good over here. Next step is to get the pickets on, but before I can get them on, I gotta go get them. They were sawed for us, special for this job by Luke Talcott. They are one inch thick, 12 inches wide, and I'm gonna bring the new trailer and a camera, and I'm hopefully I can film a little bit of the situation up there. I think it's probably really beautiful. It's up outside of town in the foothills of the, of the mountains and on a big ranch. So, all right, let's go check it out.
Well, you are definitely right about bringing the trailer, Dennis. <laughs> Holy smokes. Yeah, learn, from, learn from experience. I just did the math and I'm like, okay, one inch by 12, da, 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 that should, I, I was just thinking like about a pickup bed full, maybe a few feet taller than the edges, but. Yeah, they have a way of growing. Yeah, it's amazing. These are the pickets. Aren't they just beautiful? They're an inch thick, 12 inches wide, and they are incense cedar. Before I started this project, I was watching a bunch of YouTube videos about making fences, and I really got a lot from Joe Everest and his channel. He really knows his stuff. And another channel called SWI Fence and Supply, both of those guys used or made videos about these posts, the Postmaster post, which is why I use them. I did have to vary a little bit from the way both of those guys did it because I couldn't find the exact fasteners and all the exact hardware that was recommended. I probably could have ordered stainless screws and all these things, but I kind of just did it a little different. I'm using galvanized uh, nails, ring shank nails out of the nail gun. And on the post, I, I screwed it with like a deck screw, which is, I believe, supposed to be weather resistant. They live outdoors. I did that in case I ever, in case something does happen and I need to take that board off and get to the rails again. So that's the way I did it. The other variation I made from what was recommended is by putting the pickets on both sides of the fence so that it looks good from the neighbor's property as well. And that means more pickets hanging on the rails, so a little more weight. I think it's fine, it's just cedar, but let me know what you guys think. Overall, the fence turned out good. It's not perfect, but it's about as good as I could hope for. I have the chance now to learn from my mistakes and build another fence on another part of the property and I'm kind of looking forward to it because with a few small changes to the way I did this one, I think the fence over there will be even better. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.